Policymakers in countries around the world face major challenges when it comes to making choices on which health technologies to implement and which ones not. Budgets are limited and making choices is unavoidable. Moreover, not all technologies may be desirable. In making these decisions, policymakers are confronted with divergent interests and strong pressures from many different stakeholders. For example, patients want the best available treatment. Health workers are concerned about the implementation, and manufacturers want to put their technologies on the market. Policymakers are accountable to the populations they serve. They are therefore expected to organize fair processes, so that all people affected by decisions can find these processes reasonable and confer legitimacy. In practice, organizing such processes is often done by HDA agencies. However, Many HDA agencies are struggling on how to best realize this. Their processes often involve stakeholders and are informed by evidence. But the way this is organized is not ideal in terms of legitimacy. Often stakeholders' involvement is not meaningful or late and relevant values are not identified in time or not at all. Also, the collection of evidence is often incomplete and relates only to a limited set of values, including safety, effectiveness and cost-effectiveness. Rotboud University Medical Center responds to this struggle of HDA agencies. It provides them with practical guidance on how they can best organize their processes under the header of evidence-informed deliberative processes in interaction with stakeholders and researchers. These processes are not entirely new, but combine the strengths of two increasingly popular frameworks for priority setting. Accountability for reasonableness and multi-criteria decision analysis. Evidence-informed deliberative processes require the better integration of already commonly used principles in HDA. On the one hand, they are based on early, continued stakeholder deliberation to identify all relevant values and to foster a shared understanding among stakeholders of these values. On the other hand, they are based on rational decision-making through evidence-informed evaluation of the identified values. The use of these processes has important implications for how HDA agencies organize their processes, which stakeholders are involved and how how values are identified, which evidence needs to be collected, how deliberation is organized, how recommendations are developed, how these are communicated, and how stakeholders can appeal against decisions. This also has specific implications for research on health technology assessment. HDA researchers should no longer provide a standard set of evidence on safety, effectiveness and cost-effectiveness of technologies. Instead, they should interact better with policymakers and stakeholders and organize their evidence collection accordingly. Rotboud UMC is now developing practical guidance on how agencies can best organize their processes. Depending on their specific context, these agencies can choose to take smaller or bigger steps to improve the legitimacy of their decisions. For more information and collaboration, see the revised 2020 project at www.niche1.nl